In this video, I'll show you how to write an equation for a line of best fit. The question reads, find by I the equation of the straight line that fits the following data. To do this question effectively, the first thing that you have to do is plot the data either by hand or through software. I've gone ahead and plugged these values into Excel and I obtained the following scatter plot. The next thing that you want to do is draw a line through the data using a straight edge. And you have to try to balance those points above the line with those below. So let's go ahead and try that out. I should get an equal amount above and an equal amount below. Next, you want to determine your y-intercept. And because we have to do this by I, we have to estimate the y-intercept and it should be somewhere after 2.5, but obviously less than 3. So let's say our y-intercept is equal to 2.8. Remember what we have here is a straight line. Therefore, a straight line can be modeled using the slope y-intercept template, which looks like this. y is equal to mx plus b, where m represents your slope, which we haven't found yet, and b represents the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So this point right here, we said, is 0 and 2.8. Therefore, b is equal to the y-coordinate of this point of 2.8. Let me fill that in, and we'll find the slope next. To find the slope, you can do it mathematically using the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this would involve picking two points in your table of values, let's say this point and this point, substituting the x and y-coordinates of each of these points, into this formula and finding an m. However, since we have to eyeball the whole process, what we can do instead is use a point along the scatter plot that looks to be on the grid. For example, the point 3 looks like it's passing the y-coordinate 4. So we can assume that this point right here is 3 and 4. And of course, we know that this point over here is 0 and 2.8 because we said that the y-intercept is 2.8. So to find the slope we can do rise over run where going from this point to this point the x-coordinates 0 to 3 is 3. So the run is 3 whereas the rise is from 2.8 to 4. 2.8 to 4 we can subtract 4 from 2.8 and that will give us 1.2. So this represents our rise, and this represents our run. Using the formula rise over run, where m is equal to rise over run, we get 1.2 over 3. Using our calculator, 1.2 divided by 3 is 0 0.4. Let's fill in our equation y is equal to 0.4x plus 2.8 represents this line of best fit. And there you have it. That is how to write an equation for a line of best fit. 